Hi, my name is Mary Tuttle and I'm the Parks and Recreation Director for the City of SeaTac. We are here in the beautiful SeaTac Des Moines Creek Trail area celebrating National Walk Outside Day, which is January 20th. And so what better way to do that than go into a park and take a little bit of a walk. So one of the leading health issues that we are dealing with as humans today is heart disease and walking helps reduce your chances of getting heart disease. It lowers your blood pressure, increases your circulation, and just kind of makes you feel good. When we think about our joints, that's another thing that Americans face are these joint replacements. Walking increases our bone density. So people may not know this, but when you walk or you do impact activities, your bones actually are designed to flex a little bit. And every time our bones flex, our bodies think, oh my goodness, I need to build more calcium and I need to strengthen those bones. And another benefit for walking is just our balance. As we age, um, our balance actually starts to decrease and that ages our brains too. When we walk and we're picking up one foot at a time, our bodies are having to shift the center of gravity to accommodate the walking and that's actually helping our brains stay younger because it is increasing our mind-body awareness and helping us with our balance. We do have four parks that have walking trails. So there's the SeaTac Des Moines Creek Trail, which if you go all the way to the end and back, it's a little over four miles. There are some smaller trails that you can maybe think about walking in. We've got North SeaTac Park, and that particular trail, in addition to being paved, also has some benches. So for those first time walkers or people who maybe need to sit and rest in between their steps, that would be a really good option. We've got Valley Ridge and then a small trail at Angle Lake. 